In this video, I am going to discuss the molecular geometry of xenon O2F2 and the hybridization of xenon. Xenon has 8 valence electrons. Now, xenon shares 2 electrons with oxygen from double bonds and it shares 1 electron with fluorine forms 1 single bond. So, this is the structure of xenon O2F2. Xenon has 2 double bonds with 2 oxygen atoms, 2 single bonds with 2 fluorine atoms and 1 lone pair. When we want to find out the hybridization of central element, we have to check number of sigma bonds and lone pair. So here xenon has 4 sigma bonds and 1 lone pair. That means it is 5 electron pairs. 5 electron pair means xenon hybridization is sp3d. And sp3d hybridization means molecular geometry should be trigonal bipyramidal. But xenon O2F2 contains one lone pair. So molecular geometry will be distorted trigonal bipyramidal. Now this lone pair will occupy the equatorial position to reduce the bond pair lone pair repulsion. So this double bond oxygen bond pair and this lone pair and angle is 120 degree. So since the bond angle is 120 degree, so bond pair lone pair repulsion will be list and that is the reason molecular geometry will be distorted trigonal bipyramidal or it is called seesaw structure. Now there will be a bond pair lone pair repulsion between this xenon fluorine bond pair and this lone pair. Due to this bond pair lone pair repulsion fluorine xenon fluorine this bond angle will be less than 180 degree. 